Hello. We're going to talk about a particular transaction now. We're, and we're going to reconstruct that transaction. I kind of call it CSI accounting. So we're going to figure out how much cash we got when we sold property, plant, and equipment, specifically equipment. So we're going to reconstruct these accounts and then come up with the journal entry and that journal entry will then back us into how much cash we received or what the selling price was. So the first thing is, is we know that equipment is an asset. It's a property, plant, and equipment or a long-term asset. It's increased by debits, decreased by credits. Here are the facts. We see that we have a beginning balance of 84800 and we have an ending balance of 97400 so because the account went up, we know we bought property, plant, and equipment. So it looks like, uh, and the facts tell us, that we bought equipment for $37,000. But if I add the beginning balance plus what we bought, it does not equal the ending balance. So we must have sold something as well. So if I add up the debits and subtract the ending balance, I find that the cost of what I sold is $24,400. So the asset that I sold went out the door, and hopefully cash came in, for $24,000. So if I was going to reconstruct those entries, I know I'm going to credit equipment for $24,400 because it made the equipment go down. Likewise, the shadow account on equipment is its usage account called accumulated depreciation. And you'll remember that that's a contra asset account, and so it always has a credit balance. So notice that it started the year at 24,300, ended the year at 26,400. Now, we had depreciation expense during the year, so our adjusting journal entry was for $8,700. But once again, I can see that the beginning balance plus $8,700 does not equal that ending balance. And the reason is, is because you sold an asset that had previously been used, so when I sell it, I also must get off the books the associated accumulated depreciation. So if I do my math correctly, I see that the depreciation associated with this asset that I sold is $6,600. And it, that was through the wonders of math. So I know that I'm going to debit accumulated depreciation for $6,600 to make this go down. The other piece of information that I get from the income statement is there was a gain on the sale of the asset of $5,600. And we know that we credit gains. So gain is going to be credited for $5,600. But I also can see here that my debits do not equal my credits, which they got to. And so the difference has to be the amount of cash that I received when I sold the equipment. So if I total up my debits here, subtract my credit, I can see that the cash proceeds or the cash sales price was $23,400. So that is our CSI for selling an asset.